hey guys hey guys welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new today i am finally showing you how i do my nails one time i tried to film this video and i tried something new and it didn't work out yet today i'm also trying something new i'm trying nail tips for the first time i got these from the beauty supply just a cheap little pack to try them out because i've actually never used nail tips i'll show you what i've been using instead okay so i first started doing poly gel nails using these dual forms i'll pop one out show you what it looks like so basically you apply the oh, this one's dirty you apply the poly gel in there and then you put it on your nail and cure it with it on your nail and then pop that right off these don't actually work for me because they don't shape to my nail correctly they're too curved i actually think that it would be pretty easy to do these if i had straight forms but expensive but yeah these are from mccart I tried regular forms. These are basically stickers. You might have seen them in the beauty supply store. Maybe I'll insert a picture right here of what they look like when they're actually on the nail, but they're not bad. It's just, I'm a little, I'm not that new, but I'm kind of new. I haven't even been doing my nails for a year. So this is kind of hard because you have to build up the nail on your own. And then this is the last thing I use to do my nails. These are actually full cover tips that I got on Amazon. Here's what they look like. And basically what I did is I took a pair of eyebrow scissors and cut out a smile line to make it into a tip instead of a full cover. Now that works, but it took more time and we wanna be efficient here. That's upside down, efficient here. <laughs> so yes. I bought some cheap little nail tips from the beauty supply and I'm gonna size them up and I'll be right back and we'll continue with the rest of the nail prep. Okay, as you can see, I have my tips all lined up here and now I'm gonna go ahead and switch over to time-lapse mode because I'll be doing a voiceover for today's video. How exciting! All right, I'm starting off my nail prep with the Sally Hansen Instant Cuticle Remover to push back my cuticles. We want to make sure that the nail bed is as exposed as possible. So, got to make sure to push back those cuticles. As you can see here, I'm pushing them back with a little orange stick. Then I'm going in with some 70% isopropyl alcohol to dehydrate my nail beds as well as shaping up my free edge with my McCart nail file. And I'm taking that same file to remove the shine from my nail beds, you know, the natural oils or whatever, the natural oils. Next, I'll be going in with the Kiss Maximum Speed Nail Glue. This is my favorite nail glue. I got bottles on bottles in stock, always. I think that this glue is the strongest, it's the best, it's my favorite, it dries quick. She's my baby. She's my baby. And then I'm going in with my, what, the, what is this called? E-file nail drill. I'm going in with the sanding band to remove the shine from the nail tips as well as, you know, make the walls a little bit thinner. You know, you know the vibes. You see the people in the shop do this or whatever. As you could tell, I'm back at it again with that McCart nail file. I'm about to start shaping my nails after I clip them to my desired length. And I'm going back in with that nail file. I definitely prefer manual filing over the e-file. That's just my preference. You got a lot more control over what you're doing, especially because I am a newbie. All right, here I'm going in with the McCart base coat that comes with their poly gel kit. You see I'm painting it on, drying it with my little LED whatever light. There you go, putting that on my nail bed, my tip, just the nail bed. Now I am about to go in with the McCart Clear Poly Gel. I'm putting it right on my nail, 
dunking my little brush in the slip solution and patting it out to the shape that I want. You do not want to drag your brush because that will literally take the poly gel right off your nail. You want to pat it into the place and make light upward strokes once it is smooth. Then here I'm going in with a little q-tip dipped in acetone to clean up any of the flooding around my cuticle. Now I'm going to dry my nail under my UV light between each coat for 60 seconds. And then as you can see I'm building up the nail again with that clear and making sure to clean my brush between each stroke. Okay, I'm going to show you another nail. I'm putting the poly gel directly on the nail again. I rotated my paper towel so I'm not wiping my brush off in the same place and I'm doing the same exact thing. I'm patting it down. Once it's smooth, I'll do light upward strokes to make sure it's nice and even. And then I dry in between coats. As you can see here, I put a little bit more poly gel on it to build it up. I'm going in with my slip solution and my brush to make sure it's all smooth. Yep. Alright, now that I got that gel applied to all my nails, I'm just going back in with my e-file to fix up the shaping. As you can see, there's quite a bit of dust everywhere. I don't know, I was just, I'm watching Family Guy while I time lapse this and I figured I'd just pop in and say something. So now I'm gonna put us right back in time lapse again so I could show you how I get this coffin-ish shape. I'm not the best at shaping, it's actually a lot harder than you think, but I will try to get those nice tapered ends. Okay, time lapse, begin. All right, y'all, bear with me while I try to shape my left hand. I am left-handed and holding this drill, doing anything with this drill with my right hand is a dream. It's a dream. It's so hard to control that way. Oh, just look at the way I'm holding it. I look like I've never held anything before in my life. But here I am trying to get those tapered edges I was just talking about. Um, yeah, not not much to say. I'm just, you know, going in at the sides. Try to do what I'm trying to do. And here I go again with my McCart file. I think I said before I'm more of a manual filing type of gal. That, yeah, yeah, still true. So I go ahead and file my, my little heart out. A pretty little heart out. I'm still holding it like I've never held anything before. I kind of more move my hand more than move the file. I think that's easiest for using your non-dom. Oh, sorry. Non-dominant hand for those who don't, who don't know. I don't know what you would call that. Abbreviation? Yeah, abbreviation. But yeah. You see me. You see what I'm doing. I'm just filing the sides. Again, trying to get them tapered walls. Mm-hmm. I wish I had a dust collector. Because just watching this back is making me mad. Because you know I had to clean it up. Mm-hmm. Okay, so I have got my nails applied and filed down again. I am not the best at shaping. It is harder than you think. And I've got my colors picked out. I decided I'm gonna do a pink look because I'm lazy and I can't think of anything else right now. These are all dollar store nail polishes, but they get the job done. So let's get to painting. Boop, boop, boop. 
I think I'm gonna do this darker color on my thumb and pinky and this on these finger mm. I kind of want this to be on two fingers though so maybe I'll have this on two fingers and then this just on my index so that's the plan I'm gonna stick with it with it I'm gonna do one of these Make sure everything's mixed. This is LA Colors Color Craze number 110, uh, Space Cadet. Most of these I got for my local, <laughs> my local dollar stores, multiple. Let's see, now we're just gonna load that on the brush and it's gonna, it's gonna take a couple of coats, but It'll be pretty once we get there. You can't even see what I'm doing. Siri. It is now 2.30. Oh, I want to be asleep by like 3. It looks like that won't be happening. But yes. I'm gonna go ahead and paint the length of the nail, just like that. There's our first coat. Then I'm gonna go in with the LA Colors Color Craze Gel, which means it it shines like gel. And this is shade Princess Vibes. I'm so tired. I'm going a little insane right now. I don't like this nail look already regret the color palette I chose. Ugh, it's ugly. It's ugly. That color's pretty. Maybe it's just the first color. Can you see? Okay. But yeah, also y'all, I'm sweating in here like absolutely sweating because I don't have my fan on for this because I have so much stuff plugged into the same what is it called surge protector let me mix this oh excuse me excuse me that was wet sorry um, okay, and this is also the LA Color Craze in 542, shade name Cocktail. I don't know what cocktail y'all drinking that looks like this. And basically with the glitter, we're gonna do a first coat, kind of thick, and then we're gonna go in here with this cosmetic sponge to get it nice and opaque. But yeah. I learned that trick from my Goyle, Christine, over at Simply Neurological. I wanna buy some of her polishes so bad, but I'm a broke bitch, so not in the meantime. Not in the meantime? I don't know. I'm tired. I told y'all already, it's like literally 2.30. All right, and we're gonna let those first coats dry and then we're gonna go in with the second coat. Okay, so I'm back. Time to do the second coat. I'll try to do them in the same, whoop, the same order I did last time. Uh, I just don't like this color. Why did I choose this one out of all the ones I have? Ugly color choice. Ugly choice. Great, now I got a fuzzy on my brush. Now for the fun part is doing those accent nails. What you're gonna do is try to grab, try to grab as much polish as you can, load it up onto the sponge. And basically what this does is that the, the sponge absorbs the jelly that the glitter is suspended in, right? So then when you put it on your nail, 
you get more glitter. Thank you, Christine from Simply Nail Logical. I'm your biggest fan just because of this. I use it all the time. Like, I have a highlight on my Instagram with my nails on it. And if you ever look in there and you see me with a glitter nail, I most likely use this method or I have these little pots of loose glitter that sometimes I like dip my nails into, but more likely than not, if it's a hollow glitter, I did this. So, yeah. Doesn't that look so nice? See, that's one coat normally, and this is one coat normally plus the, um, damn, I forgot what she called it. She used to say, dab, dab, dab make your nails look fab i think it's been a minute since she's posted like a nail video but yeah hey, okay so here you see i literally touched all of them to see if they were dry and now it's time for my secret whipping a gel top coat I may not have gel polishes, but I have a gel top coat and my trusty dusty white here. Uh, sorry. Ugh. Just repositioning so I can get in frame and get into it. So you can watch me put this glossy, magnificent top coat on. Honestly, could have put another coat of polish on, but it is now 301 and I am ready to knock out. So, these nails are just gonna look how they look. It's been a while since I did my nails, actually. I think the last time I did them was in March or April. One of those two. Now I'm gonna wrap the ugly tip. I forgot to do on the other nail. And then we're gonna put the bottle far away and put our thumbs in the light and hope we don't get a heat spike. By the way, I wanted to tell you guys so bad, when I did the base coat on, I, well actually on both hands, when I did the base coat and cured that, the heat spike that I got was crazy. It hurt so bad, but you know, I just, I acted like everything was okay, but it was not. It really was not. But as you could tell, I'm more of a person that does nails for like far away appearances. This is obviously not my artistry yet. I only start doing like nails for real, for real in December. Cause I actually got this poly gel kit for Christmas and um, yeah because I really wanted to start doing nails before then I was doing my nails with the full cover tips I showed you at the beginning of the video so I would just glue those on and do really extravagant designs with them like I was buying regular nail equipment for them but I just didn't have acrylic or gel or poly gel or anything like that. But now that I have it, I do a new set every couple of weeks. But since COVID-19 rules our world right now, I haven't been doing new sets because what's the point? And I felt like bacteria gets easily harbored under nails. So I took them off for a while, but I'm back and I'm better. I'm, I mean, yeah, I mean, I guess I'm better. I didn't have to do that much cleanup by the cuticles. And I actually really love these nail tips.
Okay, I'm back and obviously I haven't really cleaned up the edges. I actually don't clean up the edges when I first do my nails. I let the shower get them because whatever is on your skin is not meant for your skin because oils in your skin prevent from prevent it from sticking correctly, whatever. I'm literally so tired. It's 3.09. I thought I would finish at 3.30, but... 309 thank god but yes here are the nails i'll give you a close-up even though you didn't ask but yeah these are nails more for pictures and just me living my life i don't know i'm not a nail tech so don't judge and i cut the heck out of my finger right there but yeah i'll um show you guys a picture right here of them on maybe their second or third day of wear and honestly that's all I have for you guys today I hope you enjoyed I hope you learned something um, if you're not a professional maybe don't try because it's really easy to injure yourself doing your nails believe it or not like I usually I cut my fingers about two to three times when I do my own nails but today I was trying to be a little little cautious for the video it looks like I, I nicked here and here so two casualties and not too bad anyway i hope you guys enjoyed um please remember to like and subscribe if you haven't already and i'll see you guys in the next one bye <laughs>